Good afternoon, guys, or morning, or whatever you want to call it. Ugh. My coffee, it's hot out. Ugh. Just want to do a quick little, uh, finished, uh, Another guitar. I got it yesterday actually, and being that it was hot out, I just wanted to putting them outside and it was drying really quick. It's the headstock. I did a, a brown to it. Gave it a quick sand because I like I like the feeling of the texture on it. The back. Did the neck like that. It's like a satin, it's nice and smooth on it. Uh, it's alright. Sounds pretty good. It's probably not in tune. These strings that come with these guitars. Not great. So and they always send the tremor alarm to I have to bend it up a little bit in the vice because it always hits the uh Doesn't sound too bad. I mean, the uh, bridge pickup is bright. A little tired. Saw a Beatles uh, cover band last night for free by the mall. the name of them but uh they have concerts by me all the time on thursdays they sounded really good tight they sounded tight for sure put on a good show
So yeah, when I put new strings on it, it'll be uh, good to go. A lot better. Put nines. I don't know what these are. These, whatever they are, they're nines. I use one string tray on it. I might put a. I don't feel the need. I mean, it looks a little funky without it, but like I said, looks good. Maybe with a pearl pick guard on it. That'll be nice, but for the price, can't beat it. And I'm struggling getting this on there. So, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, but the Beatles, yeah, it was, it was a pretty good show. The only thing is, it's the older crowd. It's like, where do they get their clothes from? It's like, they, they take them out on special occasions. It's like, a lot of dragon women and, ugh. It's like, it's freaking hot out and they're loading their face full of makeup. But they wonder why they're, uh, it looks like they're melting there. And then, some of the old, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm not old enough. But some of the older guys, it's like dancing and I don't know. They, you know what? They're having a good time. So I guess that's all that matters. That they're having a good time. But, you know, I'm sure there's more people like making fun of them out there. But, you know. And uh, whatever. But. <clears throat> So that was the guitar, and then I uh, wound up getting another gizmo, tall gizmo thing, so uh, I was always weary of doing fret leveling and crowning, and because I don't really have a steady hand to go back and forth with a f file, uh, but these have been working. Not that a professional luthier would use these, <clears throat> but for a guy that the do-it-yourself type of guy, you know, who wants to do it, who can't afford to spend, you know, money to get a fret job done, but they work out. As long as you have what, something like this, you could, uh, or you could even make one, really, if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's and... <clears throat> Look at a, not that it's a perfect method, but you can get like a yardstick and just look at all of them, make sure they're perfectly straight. And then it might take you a few minutes to pick one out and then just cut, you know, lay it on there and, and cut where you need to, to be to get it straight. <clears throat> it's not perfect science, but if that's all you could do, all you could afford, then it's, you know, it's good enough. Not that you would do that on somebody else's guitar, but if you're doing it to yourself, well, if you gigged and you relied on on it, then obviously you would spend money on it. But this is a, a must-have, especially when you do fret level. You gotta make sure your neck is straight. <clears throat> this is one of my practice necks, which are good to have to, you know. I'll use it at some point because it is a good neck on it. It just needs to be cleaned up a little bit and it'll be good as new. But if you have uh, parts that you could practice on, that's a that's a plus. So obviously I don't have my, uh, I have a makeshift uh, fret leveling file I made, but I'm not going to sit there and fret level this neck because I don't wanna <laughs> I don't know if I can clean it up and all that other stuff but anyway <clears throat> so once you get your neck straight where it needs to be believe it or not no nah, this isn't straight but whatever you get the neck straight and obviously you your marker with your sharpie marker on the frets and then you give it a quick level 
clean it up. So the reason I got another one was because I got one with the coarse and I got the one with the fine on it. So, like I said, it's got a little groove. Let me just take this out. It's got that little groove on top. Ugh. And that's where this, the paper goes into it. So, I'll see if I can uh, try to demo it really. Well, this is going to be a perfect demo. But, uh... Just try this. Man, this ain't gonna work, but whatever. So what you would do is after you fret, after you leveled your frets, just so see the way that groove goes, and then you just go. I'm just gonna do it like that. Well, let's see. Uh, eh, can't tell. There's some pings in it because this probably hasn't been done forever. I never did any fret work on this, so what you would do is go back and forth on it. And then you could always spin the paper a little bit. I mean, and the good thing is, well, you should be putting tape and protecting the fret, but this actually doesn't touch the fretboard. Unless your frets are really, really low. And then you could also turn it around, where you get the flow on the, on the other side, because you can... So you, you could see the curvature of it on it. So that would be the course. And then you would you switch it to the fine. And that will take. Like I said, it's not a professional way of doing it, but it's a, it's a good way to see my hands. See, I don't have steady, steady hands on it, but you could uh, angle it down with the back part. If you have any rough, uh, frailed edges, okay. Then after that, you would just take your steel wool. Like I said, this is a practice neck to do certain things. If I'm not comfortable, I could do it. Instead of doing it on the guitar first. I try it on this, and if I make a mistake, then it's on this neck and not one I have to play. It's nice and smooth, and if you get some polish. But let me see if I could find a fret on here that's actually. I don't know. It's these really. 
I mean, they're pinged and stuff, but they're not the horrible. This one looks like it's got a little looks like a weld. Looks like somebody tried filling in a gap on that. I don't know how well this will work on it. But you could hear it. I don't know if it's gonna take it out. But, like I said, you can see the way it, it curves. Yeah, that's not going to take that out. That's for sure. Definitely looks like a weld. You can definitely feel it. Definitely have to get replaced if I reuse the neck. Unless this does wonders for it. Yeah, you're not. Definitely not gonna fix that, that's for sure. fret job with with these tools but these are definitely good if you once a year because then you wouldn't have to do a fret level really you could just uh, do this for like maintenance or quick uh, quick guitar touch-ups but this fret seems pretty shot so it's not it's not a miracle tool that's for sure definitely not a miracle tool Did it once a year keep your frets up to par or if you come across a guitar let's use guitar and the frets are pretty not flat but tarnished or gacky because I've come across a lot of that I wish I had this tool at the time do it but yeah that's uh it's still prominent but it's not as uh, actually it's there but you don't even feel it now you felt it earlier but let's just see if I could get I'll pick this one as a before and after. Okay. I should have taped it off, but I didn't. Let's just see a before and after, so there you go, you got that. Alright. Let's just see. If this doesn't make me look like a fool. I said I don't have a steady hand but 
Amazon has these for twenty dollars a piece. I mean, you get. I forget. I think you get a. Uh, get refills with it. You get coarse, too coarse, and too fine. So I wind up getting the refills, which will last me a while because you're really not gonna. I could probably get, well, for me, I could probably get a couple of years out of it. If I'm just going to do just touch-ups and, and maintenance, they'll last me a while. But if I was a luthier, I'd probably be using files. But if I was 100% confident with, confident with this as a luthier, I would, use, I would go through a shitload of them. But for $11... It's definitely worth having in your arsenal of tools. Hope the before and after the thing works out. Because then sometimes I take my Dremel with the brass brass wire brush because it's very soft, and then I polish it with that again, just to take anything that I can't get off. Plus, it makes it look really nice. So, hopefully, it came out, came out very well. Mirror finish. Obviously, you can see the, the difference on it. And you can see it still has crown so and then that one obviously so I don't know if you could yeah you can't even uh, really see it too much now but you don't even feel it so I mean to be honest yeah it, it looks it's a nice little gash, but the string will not vibrate on it, I can tell you that. Not 100% sure, but it's smooth. It's not rough like it was. And then this came out really, like I said, it came out good. So, if you go to eBay and you get two of these, it's definitely worth it. Just for touch-ups and... That's pretty much it. Or if you do a light fret level, this works too, because I've done very light fret levels on it. You know, I got a heavy hand, so I fucking level the shit out of them. But now I, a very light level, get to where it needs to go, the needs will take care of it. So, definitely worth it. The 11 bucks at Amazon. And, uh, yeah. Like I say, you can throw it in your gig bag. You can just give yourself a nice little fret upgrade on it. Well, this one's... I don't know how... You know what? Maybe I can do one more. I know it's overkill. But this one's got... I, I don't think you can see. 
Yeah, you can see. Like lump, like, I don't know, let me just see if I could, uh, you, you can see the divots in that. Let me just try it. See what happens. Yeah, you got, yeah, it's one, two, three. Now, this guitar looks like it was played a lot when this was on it, because that's all string, string, uh, indentations. this one This was on. Whoever well, played it. Played it really well. see the one right there that's the prominent one but got a crown again so yeah very smooth so that wouldn't even affect it but easier that you could run your finger you could feel on your fingernails on that yeah like this one here it's rough you can definitely uh let's see it's it's rough yeah you could yeah I don't know what happened to that but that's a bizarre looking oh, lines on it. You could even hear it.
and I would use a, like I said, a brass wire brush because brass is very soft and it doesn't, it makes a shine but it doesn't scratch the shit out of metal like a wire brush. Wire brush is good to, you know, get some scratches out of it. But, Gone. So all the that debris that was right there, it's all gone. And now it's got a nice little crown on it. Not perfect, but it it does what it needs to do. Obviously, you can see the differences in it. So, definitely worth getting. I would get two, like I said, and get refills. It'll last you a while if you're just doing touch-ups and whatnot. <clears throat> or maintenance, just to keep your frets looking good and to avoid, avoid uh, your frets getting to a degree where they have to be replaced. But it's definitely worth getting two on eBay. You won't be disappointed. I'm not so far, and I've done six guitars already. I touched up that I was af afraid to do because I didn't want to ruin anything. But you know, you can take the strings right off, put them to the side, and voila, good to go. So, uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace out.